God loves the human body. God loves the material world. He created it out of nothing. If you look at the material world from the moment of that big bang, that moment of creation, anthropologically, it just seems like it seems like the whole universe was like a, an arrow shot from God's quiver with the target being you, that he made the whole universe just so you could be. He loves the material world, and he loves the humanness, the human body. He even became human. And when he died and he was resurrected, he remained with a glorified body. He could eat. He could drink. Um, so we're going to talk about total human optimization. We're going to talk about your physical wellness. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha and welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God, uh, it really took three generations of stars to create all the elements in that chemical chart that I never understood in high school. Uh, it took a, a, a star furnace to create the first elements, and then it exploded, and the elements came together in another star, and then it exploded, and the stars came together, and other elements were furnaced. And you, it took all that to make you, to make your physical body. Think about how wonderful just a human eye is. Think about the, the dexterity. I mean, I surf and I lift a woman over my head when my, I surf. How can we do that? What, the, the, the amazing gift of our humanity, of our human physical body. And yet we see, you know, in Hawaii, we're very physical. Uh, everybody there is pretty darn healthy and we, uh, we spend our time just doing every sort of athletic thing. You know, it's so funny in the water. We don't know who's a lawyer, who's a politician, who, who's a, a construction worker. We don't know. We don't care. All we care is that we're out there and we're enjoying the physicality of our human nature and enjoying creation. Uh, we are the temple of the Holy... Our bodies are physically the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we want to enjoy our bodies. We want to take care of our bodies. Uh, it's not like a throwaway thing. I, I got to tell you guys, when we, when we come from Hawaii to the painland, as we call it, my, my kids go, Dad, what happened? Something happened. Why? I don't know, Dad. Everybody's like out of shape and fat and no muscles. <laughs> and, and, I mean, I'm just telling it like it is, everybody. You're not happy because you're not physically healthy. You're not able to fulfill all the vision God has for your life because you're not physically healthy. You're going to die young or be physically impaired because you're not being a good steward of your body. So what are we going to do? We've got Dr. John Ertley on the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Again, very rare to have a returning guest, but we expect to have him on again and again. Dr. John Ertley, welcome. Well, thank you, Bear. It's great to be here. He's one Happy of the Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Well, yeah, now people are listening to this. It, Valentine's Day has already come and gone. Now, you know, now a lot of the guys that listen oh. to this, hey, Dr. John, a lot of the guys that listen to this are knuckle draggers. All of us are, actually. When you said today's Valentine's Day, 80% of the men said, oh, my God, it's Valentine's Day and I'm not ready, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you just gave, you already, you know, everybody got their cardio workout in right there. Their, their heart rate went up a million beats a minute. But, yeah, it's so good to be with you. And uh, we want to talk about uh, this whole area of our physical nature. You're one of the founders of Solidarity HealthShare. That's Tell us correct. First, first yeah. just give us a little intro into that before we dig into it. The, the, this is the credential part of you, the street cred, to talk about what we're going to yeah, be talking correct. about. Yeah, that's correct. So, yeah, I'm the founder, one of the co-founders of Solidarity and the, the chief medical officer. Solidarity HealthShare is an alternative way to pay for your health care where you, it really originates back in the early church when there was no insurance around and the group of the communities would gather together. And when somebody was sick, the community gave and supported those resources to be able to give to people in times of medical need. And so that's what we've recreated here in America to be able to really solve the insurance crisis that's going on with those rising premiums and higher deductibles and larger out-of-pocket co-pays. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to develop a member to member sharing of medical bills so that that way we're a community of believers that come together and support one another when we're in medical need. And what's been powerful is we're seeing doctors and patients and all members of all different 
um, at locations all across the country band together to be able to help support one another when they're truly in need. And you know where those dollars are going every single month to be able to help. Yeah. Other. Yeah. Uh, you know, my two, two members of my family are, are part of the Solidarity Health Share system. So we, we're big believers in that. And, and I'm just so impressed with the people that I've met there and so happy to have met you. And we had you on your show before. And I go, we got to have you back to talk about this, this whole area of, uh, uh, you know, the joy of being human, the ho the joy of being fully human. Now, you're a doctor. You, you understand uh, health maintenance and keeping people healthy. I'm a world cha champion, champion surfers. Believe me, I'm 66 year old. People don't believe that. I mean, but I'm 66. I'm still winning competitions, lifting my wife over my head when we surf. The the commitment to health, uh, there, you, you don't have to just let yourself fall apart. You can maintain and have a happy full physical existence so between you and i i'm kind of like the the rat the rat in the laboratory and you're the you're the doctor we might be able to really shed some light well health is critical like you were talking about to be able to make sure that we're able to live out our human life the way that god intended it and so we want to wait work with the human body not against the human body not just put a band-aid on the, the the person and so we want to be able to make sure that what we're doing is that it is actually preventative care, that you're not going to be a good, that you're going to be a good steward and not actually, you know, having more risk for these diseases that occur in the future. Um, and so you want to be able to make sure that you're preventing, but at the same time, you want to work with your body, not against it. And so this is where being able to have diets and exercise regimens that are actually working with you, it doesn't just help protect the health, but you're able to get more out of your daily activities with your brain function and your energy levels and having good sleep and waking refreshed. So this is what I have the expertise in doing. And it's a joy to be able to do it every single day to be able to coach my patients and then also help out with our solidarity members to be able to make sure that they're living their maximum life too. Well, let's dig into it. Okay. So I'm, I'm an athlete. I remember in the late nineties, I remember being a, an athlete in high school, not the best one, but and then training in martial arts, but I always committed to myself. I was always going to be an athlete my whole life. And um, over time, you know, you can get good at stuff if you just give it enough time. But I remember the wow, the whole thing. The, <laughs> I remember <laughs> like my mother doing all these unusual uh, eating regimens. And I remember that woman that came out, stop the insanity. It's fat that makes you fat. You know, you got to eat bagels. I was eating bagels and juicing juicing or you know juice and whatever those juice bars are you know i was taking my kids to have a half a bagel in the morning for breakfast and and having their their um their their juice that they, they i forget what they call those places but anyway i couldn't have been doing more harm to me or to them I, and i was I had to to do my competition john i have to make weight my partner has to weigh over half my body weight and so I and so I have to have muscle, which increases weight, and I can't have fat. So I was actually lose. I, I was losing weight, but I was losing muscle. And finally, I went to Catalina Island one day, and I'm seeing these real athletic people eating omelets with bacon and sa sausage on the side. And I go, "How are you guys so fit? And you're uh, and you're you're eating like that? I'm sitting over here, oatmeal and, and some, a bowl of fruit." And they go, "Atkins." And I go, what? That's what my mom, mom used to be on years ago. And so as an athlete back in about 1998, I discovered the, we didn't call it ketogenic then. Uh, and my wife too, she was, uh, she's, she was you know, very athletic, head cheerleader, um, rodeo girl and all of that. She's, she also very committed to being healthy and she was going to a gym and she said, how are you guys? This is, this is in the nineties. How are you guys so healthy? This is before I met her. And the guy goes, okay, if you're going to listen, I'll tell you. And he told her about the keto regimen. And it didn't work for her. She went back and said, it's not working. And he goes, well, keep a diary of what you're eating. She comes back two weeks later and he, she realizes, uh, he realizes she's not on the keto regimen. And he says, look, I'm not going to work with you anymore. You either decide you're in or you're out, but otherwise I'm not going to work with you. So my wife has been in the, both of us have been on the keto regimen since the late nineties. And you know, I'm, I'm in my mid sixties and she's a little bit younger than me, but we're still competing on a, at a world-class level in a very difficult sport. So I can say, yeah, let's talk about, as we go into the first break, give us a couple of minutes to just what the ketogenic, because it is the solution for maybe 70 to 85% of the people out there. 
It absolutely is bare. So what is what is ketogenic? It's ketogenic means that it produces ketones. Ketones are when the fat breaks down in the body and you're metabolizing the fat and ketones are an alternative fuel source to glucose in the body. And so this is where when you're on the ketogenic and you're breaking down fat and you're actually metabolizing the fat into that fuel source, your body is getting this jet fuel to be able to run off of. And this is why it's the most important fuel for the heart, for the brain. And we see studies on ketogenic. We see studies on ketogenic diets to be able to make sure that you're able to reduce seizures. If you have seizures, the weight loss is phenomenal for heart disease. It's phenomenal for cancers because cancers love to feed off of glucose. Going onto a ketogenic diet has, has been able to bring individuals into remission. And there's a lot of work being done and studies being done on ketogenic diets for cancers. But it's a great way to be able to get that body healthy and metabolizing. We we lose the ability to metabolize fat when our bodies are are just shoving all the carbs. And so we have all these carbs. And what does it do? The science, the biochemical science, it shunts it to fat to store it. And what we lose is we lose that, uh, that ability to burn the fat. And so this is even where high sugar diets and high carb diets are going to be creating fat that then allows the liver to even metabolize or to, to, to increase cholesterol. And it just creates atherosclerosis, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, because we lose the ability to be able to process glucose. And what ketogenic does is it retrains the body to be able to burn fat again. Let's take a break here and get back and go a little bit deeper. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley, one of the founders of Solidarity Health Share. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Very big believer in the ketogenic regimen. I have helped dozens and dozens of people get physically healthy in very simple, simple principles and easy to do. Uh, we'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. That's right. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha and welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. You know, this goes out over the EWTN radio network and Sirius FM and shortwave radio and every kind of podcast app. But those of you who want to, uh, you can go to the YouTube channel, the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel. Why not subscribe? And then you get the video version of this. Actually, if you go to our our deepadventure.com website and subscribe to our newsletter, you get the video version sent to you the day before it airs. Actually, if you go to deepadventure.com and become a Patreon donor at the $20 level and above, you get this sent out actually months before it's even aired on EWTN. Plus, you get uh, the Long Ride Home access, all seasons pass to all of our TV shows, plus the director's cut be, uh, months before it even airs on EWTN. So I want to say, you know, um, I we're talking with Dr. John Ertley about uh, physical health. I remember when I was in college, my mom said, you need to be taking a multivitamin. And so I did. As I pre progressed in my life, I used to research, well, this vitamin's good for your eyes. This vitamin does this. And I began someone who took supplements. 
uh, and, I, and it was hard to find the good ones, but I, I began to take supplements to take care of the different parts of my body. And then as a world champion surfer, this great company called Onnit.com sponsored me. I don't know if you can see this box if you're watching on video, but Onnit.com sponsored me. They are really, really big stuff in the MMA world, and uh, they uh, provide for me. First of all, the first thing I tried was their Alpha Brain product, which made me uh, more alert. My, the words came to much, me much more quickly. I slept better and I had very vivid dreams. So, the, so giving me just the nutrients from my brain. But they have this, uh, the whole vitamin pack. Now you take a pack in the morning, pack at night. It's for total human optimization. You can go to, our, you can go to onnit.com and just, when you go to check out, just enter the code BEAR and, and you get a big discount and it helps our ministry too. So let's, let's talk more about the keto regimen. John, when I, when I talk to people, I tell them this. See if you think this is so. I tell them, you can, you can uh, start by keeping your carbs under 20 to 25 grams, sugar carbs. You know, high fiber, uh, the vegetables and stuff, are, eat all you want. But you don't have to count your portions. You don't have to do anything like that. Just keep your sugar carbs below 20 to 25. And this is what's going to happen. About the third day, you're going to find you have a little bit of bad breath because you're converting over to burning fat. About the third day, you might have a little bit of constipation. About the third day, and I weigh myself every day, sometimes more than once after, before and after workouts and stuff. By the third day, something really magical will happen. You're going to stop feeling hungry. And by the third day, you're going to start getting deeper and more, you're going to be able to sleep much better. And by the third day, you're going to have energy you didn't even think you had. The beauty of it is, when you, I used to tell the doctor, something's wrong with me. Maybe it's a thyroid, but I'm hungry all the time. What's wrong with me? No, no solutions. The, the problem is I was throwing sugar carbs on the furnace and my stomach was always hungry. Once you switch over to a ketogenic regimen, you forget to eat. I mean, me, the bear, forgets to eat. Because in hunger, when I'm hungry, it comes from a whole different place. It's like, hey, you need some fuel. Go, you need to go fuel up. So listen carefully to what Dr. John Ertley from Solidarity House here is going to talk about uh, this, the, the keto regimen and what we may mean by that and how you, uh, how you can, you can start right now today. And in three days time, you'll find yourself losing three to four pounds of water. And then you're going to so find yourself dropping a, a pound to two and a half pounds a week. Bear, I confirm everything that you said because you're living it, you know, it, mm. and you're, you've experienced it. That is absolutely true. So the, what goes on when you're actually, um, you're lucky that it took the third day. Sometimes it's three days, sometimes it's 14 days, depending upon what that level is. And you're, you're also exercising. So I think for you, it took a little sooner. Sometimes people take a little bit longer to be able to convert into that, that great state of being able to have that higher energy. Um, you do get constipated too. And I want to talk about that because the risks of have going on a the high fat diet is that you want to make sure you get enough fiber. I eat a lot of vegetables, doc. So a lot of vegetables. Yeah. You're talking about net carbs. So when you look at, you want to keep your carbs under net carbs under 20 grams. And we're so talking about you, sugar carbs, not fiber carbs, right? Yeah. So if you look at a label and you're seeing the total carbohydrate, maybe the total carbohydrates 30 grams, but you have 20 grams of fiber you're only getting a net carb, sugar carb of 10 grams. So that's why you look at the fibers, the fibers are listed there. And so you're looking at the total sugars. And so that's why if you're keeping those sugars underneath the 20 grams a day, divided over the course of your, your meals throughout the day, that's where you're gonna be able to have that ketogenic, um, that those ketones being produced. And again, high fats, your meats, your bacon, your, your coconut oils, all of this is just great things. Why now it creates lack of appetite is because what drives appetite in the person is when sugars are, are eaten and then your blood sugar falls. And this is where when the blood sugar falls, when your, your body's trying to process that and it's creating a food coma after you eat, your fatigue. Oh, dude, doc, then, I got. I, I want to say something about that. This is a pet it, peeve yeah. of mine, Doc. I'm yeah. going to go speak at a men's conference, and they go, "Don't worry, we're going to have breakfast for the men." And I go, "If you give them donuts and coffee, I'm not going to come speak." 
you're falling asleep. They're not listening. <laughs> yeah, the you sugar carbs. Yeah. You're, 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 you're falling asleep. You can't pay attention because your brain is not focused. And so it is. I completely agree with that because you go to a food coma, your blood sugar peaks and you're going to a food coma and then it dips really quickly because your body produces a hormone called insulin. And that's what drives it into storage. When you have high insulin, it drives it into storage and then it dips. And when it dips, you have low blood sugar again. And now you're back to craving and wanting to be able to. And you're lethargic. Yeah. And you're lethargic. So what, what we do with the ketogenic is that it stabilizes those blood sugar swings. So now instead of actually being hungry, you just eat when you are, you, you eat when you're hungry and you can have those calories. John, I, fat I'm telling tell you, John, when I, when I sit to eat about the fourth or fifth day, when I get him back into my keto traveling, sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but I'm getting back into my keto. I, I dish up a lot of food, right? And all of a sudden, like, I'm done by the time I'm halfway through it. You know what I'm talking about. I, and so, so I tell people, have all the food you want. Because guess, well, what's going to happen is you're not going to want that much food. And that's me, the bear, protein this big guy. Fat, as yeah. long as you're getting it in proteins and fat and your starchy or your, your non-starchy vegetables, your right, green so, leaf, your, your, you know, your cruciferous vegetables, those broccoli, cauliflower, kale. Dude, well, Again, you know what we make? My wife makes it. Uh, make them taste good. They can taste good my, too. My wife makes lasagna with a little bit of cheese, uh, meat sauce, and then she uses cauliflower instead of pasta. You know how good that tastes? It's great. It tastes amazing. <laughs> and you don't feel <laughs> guilty and you feel good afterwards, you know? Incredible. Yep. You don't feel That's like exactly a gut bomb right. just hit you. So That's let's exactly. talk a little bit more. Let's help to understand ab about the carbs. Uh, vegetables are awesome. Some fruit, fruit can be good, but it is actually God's candy. So you have to moderate that. You can you know, eat all the vegetables you want, all the meat you want. You're not going to want them much as you get into the ketogenic realm. But you got to be careful with the sugars and the breads. And let's talk about, let's differentiate between the sugar carbs and the vegetable carbs, fiber carbs. Try to be able to stay away from processed foods. Your processed Amen. foods are what are creating the issue. So when you actually process a, a grain, if you process the wheat, you're taking out the fiber. You're taking out the thing that's going to be able to help slow that glucose to metabolize into the body. So the glucose, the sugar goes right directly into the body. So when you're having a white pasta, you might as well be just having a, a Snickers bar <laughs> or a Snickers bar or something that's actually has more fat than a pasta, right? But it's a, a spoonful of sugar or a Coca-Cola, right? So you want to be able to help slow that down. So this is why whole grains, if you do have carbs, get the whole grains because they're going to have the fiber. They, they count less towards your, your total carbohydrate. And then you also want to make sure that you're having those green leafies because that's going to give you the nutrients necessary, your, your vitamins, minerals. I think if you need it, added electrolytes, that's where even the supplementation can come in handy when you're on the, the ketogenic because supplements are helpful. What you want in a ketogenic diet, you want to be able to have the, you don't want processed foods. Processed foods, what they do in processed foods is that they literally are taking out the fiber from the processed food. And so when you take out the fiber from a food, like that white pasta, what goes on is that it immediately absorbs into sugar into the body. So a pasta, you might as well be taking a spoonful of sugar at the same, it, it's equivalent to a, a, a bowl of pasta or a Coca-Cola because all it is is it has sugar that's rapidly going into the system. Well, let's talk about that. So as, as a strategy, when I sit down at the table, I can take a quarter of a piece of bread and put real butter on it. Yep. And I can be happy with that. But when I go out to eat for breakfast, which my wife and I love to do, uh, she orders the omelet and I order usually eggs and sausage and some hash browns. Yep. So the first thing I do is I take those hash browns and take about three quarters of them off the plate, put them on my little car, you know, put them on a separate plate. Perfect. And I, and I may take a little slice. We love to eat uh, bread crust, by the way. It's kind of funny how you can develop these habits. But there's a strategy. As soon as you sit down, you look at your plate, take off the bad sugar carbs and just and, and uh, right, out, right off the bat. And then, man, the miracle, how easy it is. Oh, I'm suffering. I'm having to eat uh, an omelet for breakfast with bacon and sausage, you know. It's, it's, oh, it's such an awful diet. We're talking, it, with it, yeah. <laughs> We're talking with Dr. John Ertley. He is one of the founders of this wonderful Solidarity Health Share. My couple of members of my family are members of, the, of Solidarity, and I, and I, I love what they stand for. Uh, and they can find you at what, what's the website again? 
www.solidarityhealthshare.org. Dot org. Okay, this is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We'll be right back. Hey, man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. Aloha, this is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I wanna welcome everybody to the show. If, if you, you know, one of the things we have as men is uh, we don't have a lot of other men that we can really be honest with and open up to. And we need fellowship. We need true brotherhood. And we've created something. We've been doing it. We've been going on for almost two years now. We have this secret Facebook group. So don't bother going there and trying to join. It's called Bears Man Cave, but you join it by going to deepadventure.com. And then you're given access to this secret uh, Facebook group where the men really challenge and equip and mobilize and share their needs. One of the men does a, a nightly video rosary together with us. And whoever wants to join in, Pat Gervais does that. And and then about every two or three weeks, we have a Zoom video chat where we all get together and we go, we're, right now we're going through my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. But we look face to face with each other and you realize I'm not the only one with these problems or these challenges. And we really help each other. So go to deepadventure.com, join Bear's Man Cave. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley, one of our very few returning guests. And I'm hoping he'll be coming back again. We're talking about the wonderful beauty of this human body that God's given us. He loves it so much that he became man himself. So I just wonder what, what, what it must have been like for Jesus the first time he used a, a hammer or something, you know, or the first time he ran up a hill or you know, he experienced really, really, ex- I don't know, I don't know, just imagining that. But the human body is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And we've been talking about the ketogenic regimen. Give us an overview again of if someone starting today, it, what First things that you got to do is they got to go to their cupboard and get rid of the all of the, the process, all the processed carbs sugar and all the, the sugars. Processed carbohydrates, the pastas, the 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 rice. You're you gotta you gotta out with the actual potatoes, the fries, the chips. It's just just remove it. What's interesting is that if it's there, you don't even want to be tempted. So just trash it. It's not good for you. It's it's literally causing you harm. Whatever you paid for it, again, just just waste it because it's going to be again. An investment into the future to be able to just throw it away in the actual trash. It's actually a great oh. first. It's actually a great first step of commitment. And then what do they do? How do they count sugar carbs? Okay, so what you do when you look at sugar carbs is you want to be able to read the label on. If if you go to the store and you read the label, you it actually has a, a, a line where it says total carbohydrate. It has a line that says fiber, and it has a line that says sugars. So when you look at that. The carbs that we're talking about that you want to keep under 20 grams are the sugar carbs. So you want to take those total carbohydrates and subtract the fiber, and that's the that's what's counting towards your 20 grams a day. If you can do that, again, you're going to be able to be staying in keto. And if you don't have that fruity breath, that bad uh, smelling breath after three days or 14 days, then you need to increase the fat in the diet. It's to be able to make sure that you're able to burn enough. Wait a minute. I have to increase the fat in my diet in order to be healthy and to lose weight and have a healthy heart. Yep, that's absolutely correct. A lot of patients, when they ask me, they say, Doc, are you crazy? What about my cholesterol level? When I go and I'm going to eat fat, it could be healthy for my weight. It could be healthy for my heart. It could be healthy for my brain. It could be healthy to be able to treat my cancer. But is it going to create, uh, again, high cholesterol? And I say, you got to understand, cholesterol is normal for the body. It's what produces our hormones. If you don't have enough cholesterol, your body will literally produce it to be able to help support the brain, to be able to help support the heart, to be able to help support the hormones. One of the things, though, that you see is that cholesterol is a fat. And so when your body starts to metabolize and use the fat, what you first start to see, if you run your cholesterol levels right at the beginning of the ketogenic diet, your cholesterol levels are gonna be through the roof. Don't recommend going to see the doctor within 14 days of beginning a ketogenic diet. It's not gonna be good for you. But what you do see is that when your body starts to actually burn the fat, you actually see that the actual cholesterol levels start to be able to come down. So you don't have to be able to actually stay on that statin. If you have fatty liver, 
your body's able to burn the fat of the fatty liver instead of actually continuing to be able to stay in that state where it just keeps creating storage of fat around it. So you become fat adapted is and how I like it. Let's talk about this. We should, you know, the word diet, people tend to think of it as like, I'm on a diet to lose weight. What we're not, we're not talking about a diet. We're talking about an eating regimen, an ascetic approach to life, consistent with the virtue of prudence, consistent with the virtue of fortitude, uh, that we want to be alive and healthy and strong so we can fulfill God's mission for our life and live the length of life that God has for us. And so this, this, uh, this commitment, uh, what happens though, when you eat a ketogenic regimen, your body will tell you when it's hungry, you, you know, you will never, you've never felt anything like it. All of a sudden, after a week to, to two weeks, your body's going to, you're not going to feel hungry. You're going to be eating smaller portions. And I just tell people, eat all you want, just to keep it under 20 sugar carbs. And they go, you know what? I don't want as much as I used to want. And so then something magical happens because your body is, is burning the fat in your body and the fat in what you're eating, it begins to tell you, hey, I don't need so much food. I've getting it from over here. And so it's it, for a man who, uh, you know, 200 pound man, you're going to lose two to two and a half pounds a day if, you, if you're doing a little bit of exercise too, not a day, I mean a week. Uh, I've, I've had people 300 pounds drop down to normal weight and they love life because they, they love the way this, this regimen, and it's not hard. And it's you're easy. able to eat to your content and stay in that perfect range. You don't lose too much weight. You stay in a good, healthy range for the body. Yeah, I know. know Bear, yeah, go ahead. I have patients that literally say, Doc, if I'm going to be eating less, are you meaning that I'm going to go, I'm going to go hangry on you? I'm going to go yeah. hangry. I have people in my life that go hangry, right? They become hungry and angry mm -hmm. at the same time. We all know this. Yeah. The thing is, is that when you transfer to a ketogenic diet, you no longer become hangry. You no longer become hangry because it's the, when your sugars drop, that's when your body releases all this cortisol, you become aggressive, you become, I need food right now. It's your body signaling, listen, you need to feed me or else I'm gonna have crash and I'm gonna have something bad happen right now. So when it comes to the ketogenic and you're smoothing those glucose levels, the sugar in your bloodstream over, now you don't crash, now you don't become hangry. You maintain those energy levels throughout the times of even fasting. So what's beautiful is that you can move to a fasting state and actually handle fasting a lot better. Well, we'll talk about that. In, in a little, let's talk about that. So we've been covering the ketogenic regimen. Um, we, we, as an athlete, you know, a pro athlete, a world champion athlete, I'm only saying that for a reason because I want you to know I have a little bit of street cred. I've lived the ketogenic regimen for uh, since the 90s, and my wife has too, and, and it just kept me healthy and, and vital. But I got to tell you something, this thing about hangry, once you're once you're into keto, into keto, third three days or a week or however long it takes to get to you got to be really disciplined for just the first few days, and then it's like magic. It's like the demon is gone. You're no longer fiercely hungry. But you know I'm Ukrainian, doc, and we only have really one wise proverb as Ukrainians: a hungry Ukrainian is a mad Ukrainian. That's our total wisdom, <laughs> and I lived that until I went ketogenic. Let's 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 switch from the, the, the regimen of eating and talk about supplementing it with with walking or or or, or exercise and, and flexibility training. Let's 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 switch to that side now. Yep, excellent. So yeah, when you when you look at just what is one thing that affects every system of the body in a positive way, it's exercise. It's the ability to move, to be able to help with getting good blood flow, circulation. I like to say again, what's the most important nutrient of the body? You may think magnesium, calcium. Endorphins. Oxygen. Oxygen, okay. <laughs> it's oxygen. It's one of those, new, those elements that you talked about when it came to the Big Bang that our Earth is created of, one of the most abundant uh, uh, um, elements on the, the face of this Earth. It is the most important thing because we can live without magnesium for months. We can't live without oxygen for more than just a couple of minutes. And so this is where we want to be able to exercise because that exercise is going to be able to help bring about healthy oxygen levels to the brain, to the tissue, to the muscles, to be able to make sure that we're getting that nutrient to support our function. Oxygen is what helps the metabolize and create energy within that actual cell. Likewise, you want to be able to move because it helps the body to detox. 
if you're not moving, you become, and, and I, I liken it to, it's like a, a, a nice clean flowing stream versus a stagnant pond. What happens to a stagnant pond? It builds debris, infections. It starts to be able to bring toxicities. This is what happens to the tissue if we're not moving, if we're not flexible. So this is not just something that uh, we got to get out and exercise. It, it's, it's literally vital to the human person to be able to stay he, the way that God has created our bodies to, to, to act. You know, I, I, I use a smart watch. I used to use a, um, I still use my Garmin GPS watch. I've used one for about 14 years in my ocean training. So I track my miles. It even tracks how high up and down you go. So you know, if the surf is big, if it's a lot of, like, oh, you've had it, you've gained 2000 feet in elevation t- today in your workout. Oh, I've been big waves. But my Fitbit, every hour, it tells me get up and take 250 steps just to keep things moving. And then, wearables, and then, to, wearables are very helpful to be able to remind us, to be able to set goals and parameters. I love the wearables and what it's done to be able to help motivate or keep us on track and keep those habits and in it place. Becomes a, and it becomes, we got to take a break here, but it, and it becomes a game too. It's just a way of keeping score. Yep. Oh, this is the Bear Wozniak Adver- Adventure. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley, one of the principals and founders of uh, Solidarity HealthShare. We're talking about the beauty of being human. Uh, total human optimization, the physical body, uh, enjoying what God has given us in this material world. We'll be right back with the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell. Men, yes, we mean you. Go to deepadventure.com and check out Bear's Man Cave, a men's only Facebook group. Join the pack with other men as they challenge and inspire one another to manly virtue. Plus, you can dialogue with us in our regular video chat meetups. Plus, get your exclusive content. Join at deepadventure.com. That's deepadventure.com. Aloha. Welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We've been talking a lot about health, and I've been fortunate to be sponsored by, I think, the best supplement company in the world, Onnit.com, for over a decade. They're really big in MMA. And so every morning, I take the morning pack of supplements and the evening pack of supplements. And we've arranged, we just now got it set up uh, with Onnit, where if you go to Onnit.com and you choose to to buy some of their supplements or something else. When you're checking out, you enter the code BEAR, B-E-A-R, and you get 10 to 15% off. And then also, uh, some they send a portion of, to our ministry. So it's helpful to you and to us if you do that. I'm a huge believer in onit.com. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley of Solidarity Health Share. So we've talked about the ketogenic regimen as a way of life. And uh, now we're talking about exercise and the importance of exercise. Someone's just starting out. They're going to start. Their, they're going to start eating right. What to, What do you recommend for them the first week, the first month, the first three months? How do they begin to move forward in this area? So one of the things is you don't want to commit to too much. You know that that's the biggest the the biggest challenge that I see is that you 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 know a lot of a lot of men we're all well we can do it we can we we can live the glory days the way that we you know that we were feeling back when we were 20 i don't recommend that you know because it's almost it goes too much so there's moderation that goes on and i would recommend when you're first starting out commit to just moving if you have if you're not if if you're not moving commit to walking because maybe the joints are an issue maybe the you know get out enjoy the your neighborhood start walking if you do, go to the go to the gym and start. You know, go swimming if your joints are an issue for you. You know, swimming is a wonderful exercise as well. But do something that is not Let's talk about committing to your actual regimen because that can actually be harmful to your joints and your your tissue. Sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, I jumped in, John. I'm sorry. Inflammation, a ketogenic regimen can help eliminate some of the inflammation in your joints too. If you're doing that, it makes bear. Yeah, we go back to that. 
sugar is driving inflammation. There's no question about it. So that's correct. So you want to be able to help that um, to be able to remove the sugar, to be able to remove inflammation. But the other thing that's really important too is the ketogenic diet will increase your testosterone levels. It'll increase your T. So you're able to recover faster when you do have, you're going and exercising. You know, if, if you are having a huge sugar diet, then the difficulty to be able to recover becomes a lot less because the testosterone levels are lower, you have more inflammation. But when you're on ketogenic, your recovery times are faster, which is really powerful. So that's the other thing. But you want to be able to balance it because you don't want to just keep deteriorating the body. That's, that's, that's not healthy for you. That's miserable just because you feel like you have to do it. I want it to be enjoyable. It, it should be fun, fun, right? It's, it should be fun. It I don't. I, I actually, John. I don't. I, I don't work out. I play. Well, Bear, that's just it. I mean, what do you enjoy doing? Just you bocce ball is is a decent enough workout, really, for a lot of people. Um, uh, you know, going mountain biking or going on a just going on a bike ride, just walking around your neighborhood, go for hikes when the weather's nice. All of these things are just things that you can do to be able to to just get out and enjoy life. Play with your grandkids. Play with your kids. You know, stay active. Don't just sit around. Take Standing, your wife dancing. Take your wife dancing. You're you're absolutely right. Standing desks desks are a big thing to be able to keep us from sitting all day and being able to make sure that when we're working, if we're working and you have the opportunity, get get one of these either standing desks or get one of those things that you can put onto your desks to be able to make sure that you're raising it so that you can you can elevate your workstation. That works well i just remember um when i was in my 30s just as clear as a bell the lord said you're my walking man go walk i mean i didn't hear it but it was like this the this stream of words said you're my walking man now go walk so every coffee break lunch break um as i developed my own business i would go running in the mountains you know in in the middle of the day here on the beach i do my beach walks but every day i walk and people say well you know it's really hard for me just to get going that way um I tell him, you know, go, go. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, go ahead. What, what I see too is that in that in that case, do we allow the opportunities for the Lord to encounter us in our lives? Exercise is one of these ways that, at least in my life, when I'm exercising or I'm going and actually moving, it's one of these ways that I encounter the Lord. And I, that's not just isolated to me. I think that that's also something that I, I found with other individuals, other men, that you're allowing yourself space to get away from the grind of work and of this the, the television and just all the distractions and that exercise it pushes you and it, it again now your blood flow to the brain it's helping you concentrate it's helping you think the the amount of times that i have encountered the lord through exercise absolutely a big deal in my life and and other men that i've talked to as well yeah, well, you know, my, my books, my speeches, things like that that come to me while I'm stand up paddling or surfing or, 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 or walking. I got to tell you the truth. I, I pray a rosary pretty much every day. I can't remember the last time I, I sat down and did that. I'm doing that while I'm walking. I'm doing that while I'm surfing. I'm doing that while I'm, you know, I might do a decade here and a decade there, but I, I, I'm not, I, I'll sit down and I'll read, do my morning spiritual reading. The mm -hmm. evening I may read, but I'm gonna cigars gonna help carry me through that. But as far as actual uh, the rosary, which is so essential in prayers like that, I'm moving when I do that, and then I and I hear God's, I I, I hear, I get that that in, that sense of what the Lord's tell me when I do that. So I want to talk about one more thing. We talked about the ketogenic regimen and how important that is for 90 percent of the people out there. We've talked about just getting your body moving, having some fun with life. Maybe in time, do a little bit more cardio. Maybe get a recumbent bike or, or, or something or a regular bike. But it's also very important. My son was talking to me the other day, Shane, the producer of this show. He's watching a, a film series and the people there who don't live on earth, they, they live in outer space. Uh, they become very skinny and have very small bones. And when they come to the earth, they're like, can't hardly, their bones break because they haven't, they don't have any. Talk to us about resistance training. And yeah, resistance training is critical as well. So resistance training is essentially where you are engaging the muscles to be able to, to interact. You talked about the bones. It's engaging the muscles to be able to interact with the bones. Um, so you can use weights. You can use different, again, um, I, I just like 
when I'm doing resistance training as well, to use things around the, the house or to re, be able to use body positions. Surgical bands, to, you know, work good. Surgical bands, all of this. It's ways to be able to help just engage the muscles and keep them engaged over a, a, a period of time. And so this is critical to be able to help maintain muscle mass and to be able to maintain that, that, that um, the muscles, but it's also really critical for osteoporosis as you're talking about. So I, I like to use the example, if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's right. certainly the case with those muscles and you're using an inner and allowing the bones to be engaged as well. So it's putting that it's allowing those bones to be able to be having tension up against the muscles. And that's, what's keeping the actual bone matrix continuing to form. And so when you, if you're again on any risk for osteoporosis because of lifestyle or because of even medications that you're on or a disease that you currently have being able to just engage it. And it can be as simple and, you know, hips are oftentimes a, a, um, an issue for osteoporosis. It can be just as simple as standing, doing the dishes and being on one leg. Just it's yeah. I call it the stork stance. That's engaging the muscles of that 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 hip, and it's it's strengthening that those bones of that hip. So again, that can be really helpful as well. It doesn't have to be this huge laborious in just, you know act. Just to get things rolling, I mean, like there's this thing they have here in the south called cornhole, kind of like horseshoes. You throw something in, you it goes in the hole, and you got to walk over and get it, and bend over and get it. Or like I say, bocce ball too is is it just it's just a very light little thing that gets you rolling towards having more exercise. Resistance training, the best time to do a little light weight lifting is while you're watching the first quarter of a football game, you know. And during the second quarter, you get on your recumbent bike while you're watching the football game. You know, sitting around watching a football game, you you know, instead of Why not? by the by the fourth quarter, you get your exercise by jumping up and screaming because it's a close game, you know. But um, the other thing is we, we just we got to just touch on this, and that is flexibility training too to take yes. the time to uh, give your muscles and your joints a good stretch. You got 30 seconds to talk about that. <laughs> it's, all, it's all balance, right? You have muscles on either side of your, your bones. You don't want to hyper, uh, again, give too much muscle here because then it'll, it'll, it won't allow your other muscle to be able to get that actual, that balance. So you want to make sure that there's good flexibility and it's balance in both because otherwise then you become, you know, too much muscle on one side, you're going to be early and, and, and it's bad for the back. Oh yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure that you have good flexibility and that's, it's just critical to be able to make sure that you're able to continue to move the way that you, you're really desiring to move. Drink eight glasses to 12 glasses of water a day. Please. Yes. Get, get, uh, Add those electrolytes into the water. Yes. Okay. This is where if you drink too much water, then you'll lose those electrolytes. I've had that happen to me. I've drank too yeah. much water. Yeah. I've had that happen to me. You want to have water is awesome. You want to have that water, but please, if you're drinking a lot of water, get those just a, you can get those electrolyte packets without the sugar. Again, Amen. No sugar yeah. In the electrolyte packets into that. So to be able to make sure that you're maintaining that, the, the good fluid dynamics. And every athlete knows to get a good night's sleep. We're talking with Dr. John Ertley. We'll have you back again. I hope Awesome. You'll, we'll I invite you back again. I love talking with you. The joy that you have, uh, communicates the truth of what you're saying. It's so obvious that what you're saying is truth and that we can choose to change our lives right now to eat a low a ketogenic regimen of 20 sugar carbs or less a day, getting a little bit of walking in or playtime in, uh, getting plenty of sleep, a little bit of more water than we normally get, and uh, some sleep. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Until next week, may the breath of the Holy Spirit Aloha you. I forgot to say, Dr. John Early, SolidarityHealth.org. Thank you, John. Thank you. Hey, man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at DeepAdventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff 
coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that, go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.